Yes, yes, we're back on the beta account. No need to give me a round of applause. I know, I know. But anyway, we're here to test out the new Apex being released. And what is that Apex today? Well, the Apex I'm wanting to test out is Sarah Stegatops. And thank you to the content creator uh, program at Jam City and Ludia for providing me this account yet again. You guys have the most amount of patience I've ever seen in a company uh, with their teammates anyway. So I genuinely applaud you for that. And if you're wondering why I'm boosting up Geo Sternbergia is because I have a couple ideas for a combo that may be some of the deadliest we've seen so far. So ladies and gentlemen, I recommend you strap yourselves in today because in this video, I will be testing out the new and improved Sarah Stegatops. So with that being said, sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. So this right here is Sarah Stegatops, the newest Apex released into the game, and oh my god, is it a strong one. And while we're talking about strong Apexes, I'd like to introduce you all to the new and improved tier list that I have here. This is just solely the Arena Edition, so as you can see, it's much more cleaned up, and it looks a lot better now. Um, as you can tell, Gragamith is now number one for obvious reasons due to the Con Catalog nerf, it just shot up. And Comsovenator is number two. So like the, the reason for that is just because it can 50-50 every single creature on this list and has uh, potential to be every single one, which is what made it so strong in my opinion. Sarah Stegatops, as you can see, is just placed right behind Magna Raptor and above Draco Lux. So it's, it's a strong, solid creature and I think it's gonna make its way into the meta very quickly. I think IDGT already has it at tier four somehow, which I have no idea, dude. In, like his bank account must hate him i can tell you that but uh, as you can see i am currently leveling it up and i also wanted to tell you guys the boost build i'm going to be using for this thing so thank you to 485 for uh giving me this graphic on the left is the boost build that i initially had planned and on the right is the boost build i will be using for this video and it's much more attack heavy it's much more into that do damage before they can kill you kind of a thing and that's kind of what i'm going to be going for and i think what a lot of other people are going to be going for in my opinion if oof, this thing is a hard hitter it's a comboer as well because there's a lot of synergy to be had it's instant breaking impact and run is really really good when you have a lot of swappers in the game like comps ovenator uh draco lux magna raptor saw and another combo that i did tease at the beginning of the video the Geo Stern Bergia combo, and if you remember, it is on my list actually. So I wanted to try out the Sarah Stego Geo Stern. Geo Stern? I, I don't know how to pronounce the name, but I did want to try that combo out because I think it is an insanely strong combo that can do so much damage. And as you can tell, I am a fan of big damage. So we're gonna try that out. Um, whether or not it works, I have no idea. Or if I fight anybody in the beta test, I have no idea. But this is the build for my Sarah Stegatops, and I think it is a strong build. And if I go into Geo Stern Bergia right here, I think this is gonna be a very good strat. Okay, so moving on. Dragoneth. I have all the best boost builds at my disposal, which feels so, so good. Uh, I'm just gonna go for maximum ferocity because I just wanna get a thumbnail shot in, so there you go. Okay. So he's going to go Ferocious Cunning Impact. I'm fighting all AI, by the way, so this is not going to be too long of a video. This is just going to be showcasing it. And then in the next one, I'm going to be properly showcasing Sarah Stegatops on my main account. So this is what you would probably do in this situation. Just go for the Swap in Armored Wound. In some situations, the Swap in Armored Piercing Strike is much, much better. But in my opinion, just gaining that armor is going to be a very good thing as you can see right here uh, i'm doing 3000 damage per turn and the fact that this thing can cleanse right away after it swaps is also insanely strong you can just keep on swapping swapping back in thank god this thing doesn't have any healing otherwise it'd be insanely cracked
All right, here we go. This is going to do a lot of damage. So this is what I was talking about, why the why I think this combo is going to be insanely cracked. I know it's going to be kind of a niche use combo, but just look at the amount of damage I've put out in one to two turns. I've put out 16,000 damage right here. Look at that. So the combined damage of Stegosaurus mixed with this thing makes for an insanely strong combo, and I think it's going to be so much fun for those people who haven't. On to the next one. Oh yeah, so I want to see this thing. Oh, Raja the Tholus, or Raja Tholus. Do I kill it in one hit? <laughs> I do. Nice. That's funny. Okay. Oh, he brings out Dio. What's he gonna do? Who do I run into? I run into Kamsa. I'm gonna swap into Grigon. Get a hit. Swap back into Sarah. Oh, he goes Resilient Strike. Okay, I see how it is. So it does that. All right, now I'm gonna swap straight back into Sarah. Dude, this thing is gonna be so fun to use. I can't wait to use this in a Spino raid. It's gonna be interesting to see how much damage we can do. I already got a plan for it. Oh, I'm excited to be cooking up. So I want you guys to let me know what you think of uh, Sarah Stegatops. I think it's, I, I, I think it's going to be hard to take out at times. The amount of damage you can do just on turn one alone is nuts. Oh, and the tier five as well. Every time they bleed, you gain attack and speed, which is going to make this thing insanely strong against stuff like Sai as well. So it's going to give that a problem. It's going to give stuff like Magnaraptor an issue. And I'm pretty sure it does kill both Sai and Magnaraptor. I know it kills Magna. Sai is going to be... It eventually kills Sai, but it depends on how Sai plays. But... I think this thing is gonna have the chance to kill every single creature in the meadow. As for, oh my god, I have 100% armor. <laughs> and now I don't. I think this thing can kill Grigoneth if it lands the stun. I don't, I don't know, actually. But I think, I think it gets Grigoneth low enough to where they are forced to swap, which in my opinion is a win. You can just bring in a trap killer and just on escape and lose him. I really, don't know if yeah trico kills it i think but just barely so it's going to be interesting to see how much uh this thing can take out as you can see i've just absolutely wrecked house with this thing <laughs> against an entelelania poor thing oh god i wish you fight real people on the beta but it is what it is next one all right so i'm going to bring out the megalosevio i actually like that skin it looks pretty cool here Okay, so I'm gonna rampage. Boom! Nice. Oh, oh, you know what this means. Swap into Sarah. Boop. Oh, wait, I forgot. Reinforce on escape. How much armor does this thing get? It's like 100% armor, doesn't it? I think it does. Oh, wait, no, I think that's with the bulwark ability. Yeah, yeah, never mind. Let's do this. I swap in armored wound. That's why I think this thing is much better than. Uh, piercing strike is because you'll just tank like, like not tank you'll just plow through uh bulky opponent's health all right yeah look at that i get the tier five as well okay so yeah he's at 100 percent armor so i could try to stun him here yeah he doesn't cleanse should i ah uh, screw it why not i'll just uh i'll try and i don't get it that's unfortunate Oh, the shield. Okay. Was it the shield that blocked the hit or was it the armor itself? Hmm. Does this thing have any... I mean, obviously it's going to have the rending weakness, but somehow it's immune to bleed, which I was shocked of. I, I didn't know that... I didn't think that they'd give this thing bleed, but... Oh, well. It's immune to bleed, so... Stuff like Gripe it can't really kill it. Because, I mean, the rending is going to do enough damage, but it's just how much damage are you going to be able to put out before this thing kills you kind of a thing. Oh, I think this thing also beats Kamso. If you, if you go for the stunt, if you go for the strike and then you go for impact, I think you kill it. 
you do enough damage. Wow, this thing kills a lot. I'm just breaking through everything here. Oh, I'm gonna go through this in my next one. All right, so that's a uh, Turo Moloch done. I wanna try another combo out. Let me see if I can... How much DNA do you guys have for Sarah? Cause I know a lot of people uh, have saved up data mine. IDGT somehow has it at tier four. So his bank account hates him. Uh, <laughs> All right, so he goes dig in. I could try to stun him here. Or is he quicker? He's definitely quicker because he's digging like three times. All right. I I think that, dude, Sarah Stekatops is just so strong. The fact that it can cleanse on turn one and do that much damage, it's, it's nuts. I think people, I, I genuinely do think this is the best build for it, along with the 10,000 health build if you guys just want something a little bit more bulky. We'll see what people go for, but... Uh, I am excited to see where this thing falls into the meta. Alright, so we're gonna try this out again. Okay, I don't kill him. Here we go. Big hit. 6,000 on just an impact alone is crazy. And then Geo comes in. Okay, so dive ready. He's invisible. Time to get the finishing kill. Oh yeah, I forgot. Knowing Rampage cleanses. Yeah, look at this. So he's going to heal up. That's not going to do anything. And down it goes. 10,000 damage. Oh yeah. That was satisfying. <laughs> that was so satisfying to see. So there you have it. There's Sarah Stucky Tops, and what do I think of it? I think it is a very solid Apex that will make its way into the meta, and it will be here to stay. The fact that it can, as I said earlier, do so much damage on its first turn and just cleanse immediately is a broken combo. And there's a lot of things that I can synergize well with. Geo, Stern, Comp, So, Sa, Magna, Draco, just so many creatures that it wants to swap into. Come back, deal damage, swap, cleanse. Like, it's such a good creature. So overall, I think this Apex is a 9 out of 10. Um, it is going to run into the issues with Gragonith, but I think it's still going to put up a very good fight. We'll have to see where the meta goes from here. But as I've showcased, that's the best way uh, that I would use Sarah Stegatops. Thank you all so much for watching. And in my next one, I'll be showing some more Sarah Stegatops strats. So until the next one, I've been Tech Plays, and I'll see you in the next one.